That went off a stick and the puck goes up and around the goal on the left wing side. Yarderson down low, below the goal line. Brooks tying up Quinn on the end boards. McDonald coming to free the puck as well. Sharoon got to it, gave it away, a chance in front and Quinn scores. Just 32 seconds into the game, the Warriors turn the puck over inside of the defensive end and it's Noah Quinn who buries through the legs of Angelo Zoll and quickly Cranbrook takes a one to nothing lead. Peter will find the handle here with Bernadette all over him, but he just got away from his check and starts through the middle of the ice. Feuder down the right side, got around a couple of Warrior bodies and still possessed the puck behind the goal. Taken over here in a centering pass, scores! Donovan Frias right in front, fires at home, and Frias, who had eight points against the Warriors in their season series in four games, make it nine now as he buries in front with his 21st goal of the year and makes it two to nothing for Cranbrook. Oh. Moriello around the boards. Luke Devlin in the left wing corner. Devlin gets it back up top. Here's McDonald back along with it. Midpoint for Norland. Waits and shoots. He scores! With 21 seconds left on the power play, Isaiah Norland's got his fifth goal of the year. And the Warriors are within one. A minute and eight seconds into the second period. It's a 2-1 Cranbrook lead. Back to the blue line now. It is Brooks that will track this back down. And neutral territory and will fire it back in from center with the Warriors just under two minutes into the second period 2-1 the score as it is Isaiah Norland who gets this game within one now Turnick firing scores Chris Duclair and it's a new game we're tied 2-2 that's great to see again and that was a turnover except this time that was a turnover in the Cranbrook zone and as we just said Cranbrook will possess with 1-10 remaining in this four-on-four four sequence. 2-2 two, two our score here in West Kelowna. Cam Kungal ahead. Here's Fodchuk down the left side. Luke Foe waits, cuts to the middle, high slot shot, tipped in, scores. Foe to the middle of the ice, and I don't know if it was deflected at the side of the goal by Kungal or not, but it gets past the glove side of Angelo Zoll. 13.07 to go, second period. Foe looks like he's got the marker in this game's 3-2 in favor of the Bucks. Drops it off in the neutral zone. Peluso to the middle. Here's Cam Kungle back along left wing side. Play to the middle by Quinn. Right wing feed, walking in, dragging, shooting is Quinn. That was blocked. Noah Lafrom blocking in the way of that. The Warriors attempt to clear his knockdown. Here's Morrissey down low. Got it back from Quinn. Morrissey left point to the net. Scores. Bauer Morrissey scored twice March 3rd here in this building. And a long shot through traffic. Beats Zoll on the blocker's side. Power play goal for Cranbrook, and they lead 4-2. Can't find his way into the offensive end. That's twice the Moriello's blown an edge here on this shift alone. Right ahead through center now. Smith will make his way back in. Jared Smith, left circle shot, fired it just wide. Puck comes loose below the goal line. Chipped around, side of the goal to the net, scores. Nick Peluso right in front, and it's Jack Silich with 2.02 to go in the second, and Cranbrook leads 5-2. Able to get the puck down low to the corner. Kungle behind the net. Yarderson around the boards, left wing side. Morrissey holds it in. To the middle it goes. Peluso high slot, left wing side, holding, shooting, scores. Noah Quinn fires it home from the left circle. A power play goal, 107 into the third. And we've got ourselves a 6-2 to two game in favor of Cranbrook. And might have actually been Cameron Kungle that tipped that puck in front as he leads the rushes back to the bench. Here's Luciak starting his way back in. 45 seconds to go in the power play. McDonald. High slot, works to the right. McDonald cuts in right, circle scores! What a shot, and what a goal by Ben McDonald. Power play marker, his team leading 11th power play goal and his 22nd goal of the year makes it 6-3. Uh, you're just talking about a point per game against the Bucks. Uh, but uh, it's kind of an exciting way to end the game. Buzzer sounds, this one's over, and it's a 6-3 win for the Cranbrook Bucks over the West Kelowna Warriors. West Kelowna came back from down two goals for the fourth consecutive game. They come back after trailing by a multi-goal deficit, but it's Cranbrook who scores four unanswered after that.